What's good, YouTube? This your man, Spill Dog. I saw yesterday on Fight Hype, uh, I think that's what it was, but Spence was saying, telling De La Hoya he'll whoop Canelo ass, and uh, after the Porter fight, bring it on. You know, uh, shit, man, I love to see that fight. Well, I'm talking about that. That's definitely fight of the, fight of the decade type fight. Them two uh, square off. Now, I mean, you know, I don't know who will win that fight. You know, uh, Spence say he's ready. So if he say he's ready, I have to take his word for it. But you know, if they gonna fight at 160, and it be his next fight at the port, I don't know, man. You know, uh, if if Spence was re is really serious about that, I would, I would, I would at least like to see him fight maybe one of the top five middleweights. You know, uh, you know, you know, Willie Mum. Well, I mean, I mean, just one of the top five middleweights, and and beat him convincingly before he uh, jump up there. I mean, that, you know, he'd be moving straight past 154, going to 160 if they're not fighting to catch weight. I don't know, man. Now, I do think Spence is more naturally, probably walks around, around, that's closer to the way he walk around there, so I think he would be stronger and healthier and feel a lot better going into the fight. But, I mean, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's be, I know it'll definitely be my first time seeing him against a guy with the, with the skills and the power that, that Canelo had and going up and wait. I, I mean, uh, I, I'm not. I'm not so certain how. I'm just not so certain how he would take Canelo's power. That that that's one of the biggest questions I would have. Uh, Cause Canelo go hit him and Canelo hit hard. You know, uh, and I'm not. I would be. Cause I'm not Canelo, I'm sure he could take Spence's power. He'd have been in there with Triple G, Danny Jacobs. Uh, he'd have been in there with some big punches that's bigger than Spence. So I'm thinking. He, he, he more accustomed to taking big shots like that. So that, I mean, that would, that would that, that'd be one thing. And then the second thing, Canelo would be the clear A side in that fight, you know. Uh, you know, I mean, you know, it'd be a lot for Spence to overcome. You know, and then not only that, Canelo would have way more motivation to win that fight, I think, than Earl Spence would. See, Spence would be almost like the position Mikey Garcia was in when, when, when Mikey fought uh, Earl. If Errol was to go up there and lose a fight to Canelo at 160, it would not hurt his name one bit unless he just went there and just got dominated, which that ain't gonna happen, you know. Uh, so well, I, I don't think it would happen. Uh, that would, you know, so if he lost, even if he lost by knockout, it wouldn't hurt him none because he done went up two divisions to, to fight the champion. Canelo, on the other hand, I think he would be way more motivated because one, Spence would be coming up from 147 pounds to uh, middleweight to fight him, and uh, I think it I think it hurt Canelo career a whole lot more than Spence if he lost to a welterweight than it would Spence being a welterweight losing to a middleweight. I mean, I mean, I'm sure of that, and I, and, I, and I know that Canelo know that, which would make him be probably really you can see like he might have a little bit more motivation. And that fight, not to say that Spence would be highly motivated because people that haven't lost don't want to lose. But, you know, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I've, I've heard about Spence uh, sparring heavyweights and light heavyweights and stuff like that. But I'm quite sure the people that he was sparring, regardless of how big they was, wasn't on the skill level that Canelo was on. You know, uh, because it ain't even clear Spence is there yet. You know, uh, you know, because you know until you fight the fights. You know what I mean? You know, we all see what we see, but you still gotta fight the fights. Canelo done fought the fights. You know, he done been in the ring, not sparring, but among the lights with Mayweather, Kirkland, uh, Lara, uh, Triple G, Danny Jacobs, Ch Sugar Shane. Miguel Cotto. I mean, it's just that he done been under the lights and big uh, on the big stage with some of the best people at the division that he was fighting in at the time. Uh, it's not that Spence don't want to. The best people in his division been avoiding him. So it's not Earl's fault, but I just would hate for him to take his first real test up against a bigger, stronger guy in a, in a, in a, in a, in a different division than he used to fight in. Uh, in my opinion, that might be a little bit too much to overcome. You know, uh, uh, Earl is clearly my favorite welterweight, 
but I've been on record. I've been saying I think Canelo is the best fighter pound for pound so far in boxing uh, since Floyd and Andre Ward left. And uh, my mind hasn't been changed about that. Uh, you know, after the fight with Danny Jacobs, I mean, you know, my my I'm still sold. And so for me, I need to see, like I said, Spence for the fight. Sean Porter was gonna be a good fight. And uh, uh, you know, Porter, you know, we are Porter shouldn't beat Spence. Spence probably gonna go through him. Uh, and, and you know, like I say, Canelo is the level he should be fighting on. But I just it would be my first time seeing Spence fight somebody that good with with all the advantages as far as the his division. Him, Canelo would be clearly the A side. You know, uh, you know. It'd be a lot of Spence to overcome. It'd be a point where Spence would really, to win, would have to probably knock Canelo out. You see what I'm saying? Uh, where I believe Canelo would be able to get a decision if it came down to it or Earl Spence. I, even if Earl Spence would somehow outbox Canelo, I don't think he'd get a decision in that fight. But, you know, I just, you know, I just would like, I would, I would definitely like to see that fight. But as far as, from uh, my perspective of being an Earl Spence fan as well, I really wouldn't want to see him fight Canelo at 160 after he fights Sean Porter. Now, on the money side for him, go and take the fight. I feel I don't blame him. I don't blame him. If you win, you're the biggest thing in boxing. If you don't win, you have made big money, and it ain't no shame to lose to Canelo. So I don't have a problem with him taking the fight if that's what he's going to do. And if, if you win or lose, it don't matter. Then, you know, it, it would change the way I feel about Spence. And it would we'll change the way I feel about Canelo either. Now, it's, but if he lost to Spence, then I would have to put Spence up there, in my opinion, pound for pound, because he would have beaten, to me, who I think is the pound for pound best. Do I do I think he can? I, I'm not, I don't know, man. At 160, that, that to me, that would be a tough task for him, uh, especially with the competition that he's fought in the ring, on, you know, in front of the fans with, up to this point, I just think this will be a major leap. You know, I mean, it's, it's be like jumping from the uh, from the three feet into the fifteen feet. I mean, you know, I mean, this is be this is this is that'd be a major jump, uh, jumping up there to fight Canelo. But that's what you know. This is what you gotta do to be great. So if he wanna dare to be great, I definitely, yeah, I'm ride with you. I watch the fight. You know, good luck to you. But I mean, you know, uh. You damn sure gonna have your hands full if you run up there uh, fighting Canelo at 160. That, that, that'll definitely be a fight you need to be training your life out for and uh, and know that you're gonna, it'll probably be a war because I think uh, Canelo will probably, he, he, I don't think he will run because he could. I mean, you know, he'll lose too much credit. So I believe that'll be a fight where they'll be banging that out because Spence ain't gonna run either. You know, he might bag up a little bit here and there just to, to get there, but I can't see Spence running. He's not a runner. And uh, that'll be a war. That'll, that'll be a real war right there. That'll be that'll be one of throwback old school fights of the century type fights. So, when there's a drop that happened, I'm down with it. You know, uh, I'd be glad whichever one of them guys win. Could I pick a winner in that fight? No, I couldn't pick a winner. I know who I think will win. You know, uh, and, and I mean, you know, but uh, that's it on this video. You know, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the next one. This is your boy Spiel, I'm out.